All right, so let's talk about this WWE 2K22. So I've had it for a few days now, man, and and honestly, y'all have been having a lot of fun with it, yo. It's actually kind of like a a breath of fresh air, a, a little bit. Um, for my WWE like hardcore fans out there, I think you all are gonna find this just as refreshing, kind of as I have, especially if you spent a whole lot of time playing WWE um, 2K20. We all know that 2K20 was a mess, yo. So this is definitely a step in the right direction but that is kind of where i draw the line the game is fun it is it delivers exactly what it's supposed to deliver right the thing is is that it always kind of seems to like fall short with some of the other game modes and i'll explain now when it comes to simple like graphics and and presentation right the first thing we see is we, we judge everything with our eyes so when it comes to graphics and presentation WWE 2K22 is like top notch, yo. The way that they do the ring entrances and 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 all of that, you actually want to watch them all, yo, because the delivery system is so good, man. Like, you see them walking to the arena, man. Everybody comes in, and they are who you expect them to be, yo. As they're coming into the, and it really just kind of like sets the tone for everything, as like everything is kind of like kicking off. So, and when it comes to graphics, okay graphics in general there are times especially in certain arenas where when you're looking at the game it's almost hard to tell whether it's like a game or whether it's like photorealism that's happening and they do it so well man but sadly it's not in every single arena that you get that feel but the game always looks good like i've i've been playing on an rtx 3080 man and it's literally like it's 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 a it's a good it's a great looking game man it is it's a great looking game so graphics and presentation top notch when it comes to gameplay and just strictly being fun if i could give you one piece of advice do the damn tutorial all right don't do not skip the tutorial if i were you i would actually do the tutorial especially for anybody who's played any of the previous wwe 2k games because the button layout is different now than what it was before so do yourself a favor and go through the actual tutorial man i think it was really like 15 minutes it wasn't it wasn't long but it's new so i, I think it's worth going through the actual tutorial now when you get into the gameplay it's actually hard not to have fun with the game man like there's everything is so smooth <laughs> everything is is so clean man. and and i only actually ran into a couple of like little like buggy issues um i had a problem early with like the control because obviously i'm playing on controller um i had some problems with like the controller actually like picking up but that was more on the steam side of things and less on the game itself so i don't really knock the game for that um I did have an issue of one of my matches, yo, where I was I was using Blitz and she was just literally running right into the ropes and she just wouldn't stop. Eventually, finally, she finally quit running, yo, but she just literally just kept running and running and running into the ropes and wouldn't stop doing it. So those are really kind of the only two things that I've run into. So if you're talking about gameplay bugs and glitches, like it's not buggy. Um, not really at all maybe somebody else has run into other things but that was really the only two issues that i had and both of those things ended up getting resolved and i never saw them again um you may see some small graphical things man somebody grab a rope and their hand really don't get it or the hand like kind of does some crazy stuff but it's really small and few and far in between so i would actually be nitpicking at this point all right the game modes man this is where i think people are going to kind of like draw the line um it's kind of where I did. So I'm, I'm really going to bulk everyone in and I'm only going to like point out certain things, man, with certain ones. I'm not going to go do like super deep into it, but the my GM, my GM is cool, right? My GM is cool. I'm glad that they put it in there. It's better to have it than not to. But it, it, it does feel like it's lacking a little bit, man. Like I you can't really get as detailed with the my GM as I would really want. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's a I don't want to use the, the typical it's a good step in the right direction because they literally had two years with this man so it should have been like really really solid and that's not me like beating it down that's just me saying 
y'all left some stuff on the table you know what i'm saying so y'all probably could have came a little bit harder with the my gm um when it comes to my faction my faction not being online is kind of like it should have been connected it should have been connected somehow and not having to where it was just strictly like an offline mode that, that definitely should have been online for sure um when the the other game modes man um my rise dude my rise though character creator is solid all right the fact that you could download images and then overlay that over top of um the like the the dummy's face basically and then reshape it so to make sure that you match it well basically like tracing your face like in the game that is dope <laughs> so i dude i've seen already some of the things that people are coming up with out there and the modding community oh man yo the modding community is going to have a field day with this game and the creations and things that they are going to come up with i actually cannot wait to see some of the things that people make and some of the characters that people come up with in the game because you literally can make your face you can make your face in the game the creator is really kind of like that detail yo so when it comes to the my rise man like i i think they did pretty good with that um there are still definitely things man that they really could have like brought to it to make it to give it a little bit more like punch man and i, and I don't want to go i don't want to go too in deep in depth with that because i want y'all to come up with your own like termination of that and don't and don't take mine you know what i'm saying this is just kind of like the things that i've seen that i would have liked those areas i thought that they could have like brought up areas of focus for the dev team and put it like that areas of focus for the dev team every single one of your additional modes could have had something and, and i do want to say this though is that this does kind of have like a it almost has like a ea feel to it man like ea has a has a way of like making games and purposely leaving stuff out so they have something to add in there in future renditions of the game and then tell you that it's like here's this new thing but it's something that you've been waiting on for like three years but they've been able to do it the whole time that's kind of how it feels man it's, that's that's the way that it feels i don't know y'all let me know but look that's my genuine review of wwe 2k22 if you ask me should you buy it the game drops tomorrow should you buy it early nah i think you probably should wait until tomorrow <laughs> so if you're just like itching to grab it um wait until tomorrow unless you really just want the extras wait until tomorrow um should you pick it up tomorrow if you're a hardcore wrestling head like that yes if you played and stuck around during the 2k20 era yes you definitely should pick it up because again like i said in the beginning this is definitely going to be a breath of fresh air man it really is the game itself overall is very very fun to my ufc 4 folks out there if y'all are super aggravated because every time i talk to one of y'all <laughs> y'all tell me how bad the game was how upset you are with it if y'all are looking to step away from UFC 4 for a minute and, and get on to something else, here's your opportunity, yo. Pick up WWE 2K22, man. It is just, it's fun. Get some of your people on there and y'all go on there and have a Royal Rumble or have a ladder match, a table fights. You you name it, man. You know what I'm saying? Go in there and just slam each other around to your heart's content, yo. But look, that's all I got. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about WWE 2K22, if you've already played it or if you're going to pick it up. Uh, like I tell y'all every other time, man, appreciate y'all for coming back to the Coach's Corner, man. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.